Hello friends, let's develop a windows based application that will accept integer numbers and out of that it will display minimum number, a maximum number and as well as it will arrange all that numbers in an ascending or a descending order. So let's develop an application. So this is a Visual Studio environment. Let's create a file, new project. Now in this, we'll have to select a Windows based application. So I select Windows form, I'll just give a path over here. So I've just gave the name of a project as practical number two. This is the Windows forms and these are the different objects of a Windows form. I mean, you can have a button control over here. You have a test boxes, you have a label, so you can just drag it over here and you have so many properties of that particular object. So yeah, I'll just change the text here. Minimum number and we'll display the output again on a, let's say, a label control itself. So I'll just take a label here, let's keep it as a blank and change its name to LBL minimum. In the same way, we'll have these two objects, I'll just copy paste over here so that I can take as, I'll change it to maximum. So this one I'll change it to maximum number and again I'll paste it here I'm going to display sorted elements. So by default here we have added three labels also. So first label I I gave the name Elvelman. The second label I need to give the name. So let's see LBL Max. And for this third label I'll use LBL sorted items, sorted numbers. Now our objective is to accept the limit then using that limit we'll have to find out the number of array elements in a sequence. So for accepting the input we don't have a predefined input box just like it's available in vb.net for that uh, I need to add a specific reference for that so I'm adding a reference from here and I need to add the reference of visual basic select a visual basic click ok save this project and you'll see a visual basic reference have been added now just double click on this form so that I can add a code for this entire project. Now this is a coding environment where we can write a source code. I'll just write a particular function, separate a function, public void show. And I'll call this function from on a form load. Now the next step is I have to accept the elements or you can say I have to just take the limit so I'll just take a limit as one of the variable I'll take one array because let's take this uh, max value for this array is index is 10 then I have to accept the element so just take the follow 
for otherwise just ask the user so for accepting that value we have a limit equals to we have to convert that values to integer convert dot to int 32 and accept it from the Microsoft dot Visual Studio basic dot so it's available information dot information dot dot input box so it's giving error because we need to add the reference over here so using Microsoft dot visual basic now it will accept that input box so it's available in dot input box and we have to provide the parameters first parameter is enter limit second parameter you can give is some default values or some positions or title some default value now so this is will display the input box for the user so the next step is we have to take the limit uh, the limit is accepted then for and i equals to 0 semicolon i less than limit i plus plus we have to accept the array values now accept the values in an array so ar of i will be equal to use the same and here i'll just use So in this way I can accept the input for an array. The next thing is we have to sort an array. So here I will write the sorting logic. So for sorting I can take multiple for loops. J equal to 0. Here I will use again J and j++ plus plus. Uh, let's take a temporary variable also then temp equals to ar of i ar of i I'd love to just perform the swapping of the numbers ar of j ar of j equals to ar of so it will be temporary now let's display all the elements all the outputs on a object so first number will be minimum dot text equals to ar of will be a zeroth element we'll have to convert into two two this will be my minimum element similarly I'll just display the maximum element so that will be limit minus one will be my maximum element and the sorted array will be 
have to sorted array i think i need to again just use the for loop and i have to take one more variable as a string and here i have to just use that string for appending that values and this string we are going to display on a third label let's see the execution so it is asking for a limit so let's take a limit now enter the values 12 3 4 let's say 3 13 so we will see here 3 is the minimum number 4 is the maximum number but this has not been sorted properly it's because So is less than one bit. So Again, so it will be five. I'm entering one, two, three, two, two, five, three. So it's just not this one properly. Okay, so here we have to check the conditions if AR of I is greater than AR of J we have to perform this now let's see the output so there will limit 4 1 3 4 12 5 so ok because the condition is we have given greater than just make it as less than so put again so I'll give the limit 5, enter the numbers. So here, minimum number is 4, maximum number is 55, and this is in a ascending order. So, thank you.